too. I guess it's an emergency. It's too many bass out here. <laughs> I'm over here at a local pond, next to the clubhouse, next to the palm trees, next to the waterfall. We about to catch these ba -ba -ba bass. I got three setups with me, three hot rigs, spinner bait, chatter bait, net rig. And we have imminent storms. I'm talking about less than two hours. Thunderstorms all day long, so I don't have much time. All right, I'm not sure this is the right color for this pond. I'm gonna try the chatterbait. Not much action on the chatterbait either. All right, been about 20 minutes, no bites yet, but I know it's gonna sound like excuses. I think the chartreuse is just not the right color for this pond. It's pretty big and I usually catch small stuff out of here, which I also think is why not only that, but maybe that chatterbait's not working because I have that big old trailer on it and, uh, and I want to leave it on because I don't really have any other smaller plastics with me. So, I'm going to go to the Ned Rig. Nice and calm right here and then there's some docks to try and fish. Alrighty, so what we are fishing with is a $5 rod from Walmart and I'm pretty confident that this bad boy can pick up these bass that are in here. Zedco hot cast. It's like four feet. Pretty funny little setup, right? Down. Oh, oh, he's taking us down, boys. Oh, one of the bigger ones I've caught out of here. There you go. $5 rod can pull them babies right out the water. <laughs> I saw the line swimming around. I'm like, oh, he's on. <laughs> Definite delayed reaction. Y'all are gonna like that video. If you pay attention to it, you might have to rewind. But uh, dude, he's, oh yeah, he's solid. I mean, literally one of the bigger ones I've caught out of this pond. So, uh, check this thing out though. Not bad for five bucks, man. It's two pieces, still holds up. Set the hook on that thing right there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the eyelets don't seem to be like terrible quality. It's got like EVA foam grip and, uh, shoot, I don't know. Let's, let's keep at it with this thing. See how many it'll catch before it snaps. <laughs> oh. One just went after it. Oh. Oh. Oh, we missed it. All right. I'm assuming the storms are getting a little close. It's uh, 1140, and it said 100% chance of storms at 12, so. Whenever I did my last video here before all the rain we had, and I caught like 10 bass out of this pond in one session, I was like standing over there. So this is, the water is way up. Flanging it. One's on. Got him. Ultimate $5 rod test. Up and over. Look at this $5 rod. That would be number three, but I didn't set the hook on that second one. He got away, so. Instead, it's number two. Storm's in view. Oh, mine's swimming around. We got one. Oh, we got one. All right, let's turn up the drag a little bit and let's crank her on over. $5 rod, raking them up, getting our money's worth today. Numero tres. That's right in the same spot. It looks pretty natural, I think, what's happening over here because I'm casting way to the other side and there's like some muddy, rocky mixture and it kind of comes down off a point, it seems like, and then it's all open. So I'm trying to act like this thing is just falling off of that point like the Ned Rig is, and uh, I think it got that last one's attention. I'm fishing this a lot different than I would with a bigger rod. If I had like a seven foot rod, you can really, you can really feel the bites almost. With this one, it's so small and flimsy, it's kind of tricky, but what I'm doing is I'm just, I've got this green line, except for the last few feet that I've colored black, and I'm just kind of watching the line, and if I see the line start to move around, I'm just like, okay, you guys are gonna see this little rod in some future videos. Hasn't broke yet. One of the main reasons I got it is because it's two-piece, so I can put this in my backpack and do some of those uh, kind of like moto vlogs slash fishing vlogs and, uh, and just have a more portable rod in general 
I'm getting a little cold. Whew! Even though it's like 60 degrees, I'm like shaking and can't put this thing back together. Well, folks, we might call it. We got three. If you guys enjoyed today's video fishing these awesome ponds out here, please give it a like. Drop a comment if you please. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace. <gasps>